Hello, my name is Precious and you're welcome to this episode of Precious Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make some delicious grilled fish the Cameroonian way. Grilled fish is a popular street food in Cameroon. However, the people of Douala claim that it's their traditional meal. Who am I to say no? So, we love it. It is so easy to make and I'll be showing you a really simple way to achieve it in no time. Let's get started with the ingredients. Right here you need the fish. This is what is called Morocco fish in Cameroon and it, but it's called in other parts it's called mackerel. So this is um, if you're in the United States as I am or elsewhere you may want to look for yellowtail mackerel because there are about six different kinds of mackerel that I've seen. There may even be more, I don't know. But it's not every mackerel that is the same but any fish can work but I'm just telling you this is like the popular fish that is grilled on the street in Cameroon. So I'm going to be making some fish sauce that we are we are going to use as a marinade for the fish and we are also going to use that as a sauce to eat with the fish so right here I have a large onion I have two habanero hot peppers um, that's some ginger and some jansa this is a seed that is, is, is so nutty it's it's a nice spice we use it to cook and we use it for fish sauce and then this is some garlic and then this is a spice that we call bebe. Um, I think it's called ehuru in Nigeria, but um, yeah, I think it's also called African nutmeg. So I'm going to be using one actually, but I just put two so you can have a better view of what it looks like. And then this is um, about half a teaspoon of white pepper. I really love white pepper. I put it in stew. I put it in lots of stuff. And then this is some salt. And then this is some green onions. I'm also going to be using some seasoning cubes, which is which is Maggie or no. I'll be using about two. I, I just forgot to put them there. Um, this is vegetable oil and some water. And then right over here, this is where I'm going. The magic is going to happen. This is where I'm going to make my fish right on my stove top. I learned this method from a friend. I went into a house one evening, and before I knew it, there was roasted fish on the table, and I was like, "How did you achieve this?" Permit me if I say roasted fish or grilled fish, I'm so used to roasted fish because that's a Cameroonian way. And she was like, she told me she did it on her stove top and she taught me how to do it and I've not looked back since then. So let's get started with the cooking. Okay, I already got the one the first fish ready. I'll show you how I do this. So you just hold your fish from the tail at the tail. And then you use your knife and you take out this veiny, bony something which whose name I don't even know and that's a shame <laughs> for someone who is always with food so if you know the name of this thing do comment below and let me know then you, you turn the other side and you do the same thing you don't want to cut too deep into the fish just do that lightly because it's not pleasant when you're eating roasted fish to just to take some of that in it's so hard this one is little so I just use my hand and take it up so the next thing you want to do is take out the gills some people like their fish with the gills in there but I don't want it in there. I'd rather keep this and fry later or something. So I just use my hand and going, you pull it out, it, you really just give it a look at all that. So we don't want all of that in the fish. So I'll just, you know, dump that in there. Then, after taking that out, you see it's all Layer up. Look at that. You just want to go in here with your knife and just give it a little, just below these things here. You just give that a little cut. Then you send your finger inside. Don't be scared. There's like no bone there or anything that will hurt you. And then you just you do this. You take it all out. Look at that. We don't want that. Now you rinse. So I just have some nice cold water here which I'll use. By the way, if you hear noise at the background, my girls are on doing what they know how to do best. So <laughs> we always just have to make this work for them. Like rinse this fish and just rinse it. And when you're buying fish, you want to look for the one that has as few cuts on the skin as possible. If it has so many cuts, that means it's not as fresh. And your, your roasted fish will not taste really nice. It's very important to have very fresh fish. So that's my fish all nice rinsed. So now this is what I do. I'll just use this knife to make diagonal cuts across the fish. So you just do this. 
look at that not too deep but you know because we are, it's good for aesthetic purposes and we're also going to put in some of our marinade in there so it penetrates right to the bone of the fish so i've made about four cuts so you do that for the rest of the fish now that i have the diagonal cuts all around my fish this one actually had to take about five because it's longer than the other i'll just go in with a teeny tiny bit of salt so i'll use my finger here to make sure i have a bit of control this just helps to make sure your fish is really tasty so I'll do that on both sides of the fish just a little bit so I'll just rub it all into the fish just rub it rub it rub it rub it all and I'll let this baby sit here rub it into all the fish and I'll let this baby sit while we make our marinade I love starting with the onions so what I do is I'll just before peeling it I'll just go ahead and cut about a quarter of it I'll use this to decorate the fish later so I'll keep that aside and then this one you know I just cut it in half peel it dump it into the blender I like putting in a lot of onions because it gives volume to the fish sauce so the other ingredients kind of disappear in no time, but the onion is the only thing that is like gives it a bit of volume. Because this fish sauce is really delicious, you don't want it to be so small. And <laughs> then I just cut off, cut that off. These are the green onions. You can substitute with leeks, or you could leave it out if you can't lay your hands on this. Oh, what's that? There. Okay. So no fine chopping here. Blend going to do kind of putting all of this into a paste then I'm going in with the garlic so what I do is I just use my knife to help me separate that I just use a knife you cut and then Oh, come on garlic yeah I'm done with my garlic so I'll just go ahead and oh my goodness oh okay <laughs> I'll just go ahead with the ginger just peel it lightly put it in this hard edges I just like to cut them all out Okay, just keep that in. Jones, dump that in. This is the African make thing called Bebe in Cameroon. So I'll just hold it. As you can see, if, if you don't hold it firm, it's going to go away. And I just like make a crack there. And I use my hand. Peel that. Look at that. It smells. Mm -mm. it smells amazing I only need one this one it's really overpowering so you don't want to put too much then my jansa seeds it's so about 12 jansa seeds so the, about 7 cloves of garlic about an inch of ginger 12 jansa seeds 2 cents of green onion 1 large or yeah 1 large red onion my white pepper half a teaspoon and then my seasoning cubes Maggie I'm putting in two I just want to blend this with it right away so all of this goes here then a teeny tiny bit of salt remember seasoning cubes are salty so you don't want too much salt in there some water Going to blend this all together. Oh, come on now. Perfect. As you can notice, I didn't put in my pepper because 
I don't want the fish to be spicy. My kids don't like pepper. So if I put the pepper on the, in the marinade, it's going to be a deal breaker for them. So I'm just going to separate. Yeah, this will go for my marinade. And then now this is the sauce that my husband and I will eat the sauce with. Oh, that's my baby girl. So I'll just pour my fish sauce into a pot. I learned how to make this fish sauce from a Douala woman because the Douala people of Cameroon like making fish, eating fish a lot. So I asked her and it always had this particular flavor to read that i wanted so i asked her how it was done and then she told me that's when i started putting things like jansa and the african nutmeg spice you saw me put it just gives you that authentic cameroonian fish flavor however if you can't find these spices where you live you can just you find it you just use any the other spices garlic ginger pepper it will still give you a really nice sauce so i've put some vegetable oil on my sauce i'll just let this all boil together on the other side here, I'm going to start making my fish. I'm so excited. So remember the, the marinade for my fish? It's here. So what I'll do is... So people add oil to their marinade, but I won't since I'll be using this and I'll be adding a lot of oil to this. So no need. I, I just have a brush here that I'll use to put the marinade on the fish. So you want to just turn on your stove. If you don't have a big baking sheet like this, you could use... A skillet that's a frying pan so I've, you see it's all on and it's on like medium heat there so I'll go in with water yes water you heard me right I'll put in this water because this is going to make sure that the fish is moist and it's going to cook it to perfection and then I'll add oil this oil prevents the fish from sticking but you don't want to add too much because we don't want too much oil right this is just regular vegetable oil but for a healthier choice you could use extra virgin olive oil now that's getting hot so i'll bring my fish so look this is my fish people i'll just use my pastry brush i'll just do this and then i'll put it the side that has the marinade onto that. I'll do the same thing here. And then I'll put the side that has the marinade like that. And then I'll just go with the marinade too on the top of it. I just love this process of brushing your fish with some spicy goodness. Spicy and yeah, not like hot, but you know, just some very flavorful blend of spices you can see it's heating up and so what i'll do is now i'll just use my oven gloves to make sure that that water oil mixture is evenly separated so i'll so that's what you want to keep so this is going to cook the fish perfectly to be moist and then it's going to like burn it a little bit to give it that grilled fish feel then i'll flip the side my sauce is all nice and ready i let that boil everything simmer together for about five to ten minutes so this is what it looks like look at that nice kind of like a light green color that light green color comes from the green onions so we'll come back to that later when we're about to eat the fish so this is my fish this is what it looks like lots of smoke in here that's fine so the fish has cooked on one side for about 10 minutes I put in one cup of water some oil and now it smells like roasted fish in it so it's time to flip it putting it flat in the spoon I do not want to make sure it's separate do the same thing here so oh my goodness <laughs> so it's just there oh my god and it's Flip it. Oh my goodness. Now smoke around it. Oh. Then let that cook for about 10 minutes. So. Oh, that nice. The other side cooked for about 7 minutes. So 
I've turned off the heat. Right now it's just the fish and some oil. And it smells in here like roasted fish. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the inside. On the inside, wow. The fish is all nice and ready and I'm just going to dig in so you guys know first I'm going with my meander and I'll go in with some fish. So what we do is we just eat the fish around the bone, you know, we don't like eat the bone, we just eat the flesh, some sauce. Mm. It is so full of flavor. <clears throat> the sauce is so hot. We'll make some. Whether I have tilapia or any kind of white, other kind of white fish, make sure you go into your kitchen and make this deliciousness. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.